Hey, what's up? So this question is called reformat department table. So we have this table department and as you can see, we have ID, revenue and month. So ID and month is the primary key of this table. You can have uh, two columns as the primary key. Uh, it's, this, this concept is called, I think, uh, to be honest, I, I, <laughs> I don't remember, but you can have this. It's totally valid. So the table has information about revenue for each department per month. Uh, the month has values from January to December like this. So write a SQL query to reformat the table such that there is a department ID column and revenue column for each month. So this is uh, interesting. So for example, this is the table. It only has the three columns, ID, revenue, month. We need to have the ID, then the revenue for the 12 months if there is a revenue, just add it. If there is not, put none. And as you can see, the name, the name of the columns is from Jan underscore revenue to December underscore revenue. So for each row, we will have twelve. Um, for each ID, we will have two other columns. And if you take a look at this example, the ID appears many times, but each time is different month. So this is something uh, to notice. I think because you need the. Uh, I think you can just solve it without sum, to be honest. Because I solved it with sum. But I think you need to add sum because of the group by. Because, yeah, you can't go without using uh, the, any aggregation function. So to start solving this, so let's set it by the. This, I will give myself a bit space because this will be a little bit big. So from there is called department. Now, since the ID appears many times, and for each ID we need to get only one row at the end, I will group by the ID. Group by ID. Now what I will do since I don't want to put all the column, yeah, I don't want to put all the column names here since I'm using group by and there's so many columns. I'll just use aggregation function for each row. It doesn't matter to be honest. But you need to put it. I think in my SQL 5 and before it won't complain, but now it will in my SQL 8 about the group by. Because you need to put all the non-aggregated column in the group by. This is a rule to remember. All non-aggregated columns need to be added to the group by. So I'm just putting some, uh, so it won't be, so I did, it won't be needed. Because if you think about it, uh, January for ID one, it will only appear one time because one and January is a primary key, it won't happen again. So that's why I'm adding some, if anyone uh, wonders. So case, when uh, month is equal to John, then put the revenue. Okay. Else null. Now end it. And that adds and revenue. So you need to do the same thing, for example, like this, but just replace Jan with fit. Like this fit. Like they type it in the array. And this replace it with fit. And we need to do it actually for all of them. I actually have it uh, here, so I don't repeat myself. I made the video longer. So I have all of them. As you can see, it's a little bit long so from January to March. And as you can, you can remove the ASCII order, as you can see, make it shorter. But yeah, this is it. So run. Yeah, it works. Thank you.